So you've invested in some moving heads by Chauvet for your DJ lighting, and you want them to be able to do this and, and create awesome visual experiences like the ones you're seeing right now. Well, there are a lot of ways you can do that, um, but there's one way that's the easiest and the simplest, especially if you're wanting to avoid having to bring on a totally additional fo person just focused on lighting. Combination of equipment and software that we're gonna show you here. Um, although a few steps um, to understand before you can do it, and you know a few hundred dollars in investment, it's gonna allow you to DJ, MC, run sound, and and at the same time uh, control your uh, advanced moving head lighting system in a, uh, a a visually stimulating, really cool, professional way, um, all without distracting from all the other things you have to do. So Luminaire, you see, we go ahead and click that, and you can see here that um, I'm currently connected to, um, you know, with the green bar there, you, green circle there, you, you can see that I'm connected. And I'm connected to the Gigabit Power Adapter by Red Park. Uh, there's a link below. Um, and through a custom cable, which also is linked, uh, I'm able to communicate uh, the information from my phone or iPad. This, is, this happens to be my older iPhone 6 that I've kept just for this purpose. Um, and I send on with DJ rig, uh, DJ and lighting rigs um, on a regular basis. And it connects here. Now, not only does it allow the information to be passed here, it also charges uh, the device simultaneously. So I can use these for extended periods of times, you know, virtually all day. Um, and it then communicates Ethernet into the Ultra DMX. This is the Ultra DMX2. In the link, I, in, below we have a, a link to the um, to the single, because really this is overkill. Um, and I just, I, at the time I didn't realize that. <laughs> I really just need one. Uh, so this is a double, but really just you just need a single. And it's gonna uh, then allow that ethernet to be communicated to DMX and travel to your, um, you know, plug right into the endpoint of your uh, lighting device. Once that's done, um, I'm able to use Luminaire to do a lot of really cool things. You can add fixtures, and it, but it has a bunch of custom fixtures in here. Um, and actually, in, in the you can select a profile because it pretty much has all the lighting manufacturers and all their virtually all the mainstream lighting out there, including Chauvet. Uh, you can see um, Chauvet is listed there. Once I click that, it shows me all the Chauvet um, lighting um, options that, that are on file. If, now, sometimes Chauvet will come out with one and it'll take a little bit before it gets on file. You, in the past, I or you have maybe a light that's um, older, or, or and but you can actually reach out to the manufacturer, the um, software team at Luminaire. And in the past, I've had it where they actually added a lighting fixture for me um, upon request. So pretty much it's going to have your light, and if it doesn't, you can ask for them to add it. And they are responsive and helpful. So I did all that a while back, of course, and uh, that's how I have this um, intimidator spot setup we have here. So what I'm going to do right now is, uh, and it's probably to get a quick look, you can see this. So I'm able to, you know, with my thumb in real time, you know, like if I was trying to spotlight somebody, I literally could like follow them, <laughs> you know, kind of cool. Just interest add on during non dancing, and then later on you'll see during dancing you can do a lot of cool stuff. Stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that recording. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the speed a little bit, bring it down maybe half the speed of that. I noticed that it's a little bit maybe higher. Oh, no, that's probably pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and make it reverse loop, and now that's gonna be a cool little custom movement, uh, you know, during during the end of dinner or something, just to mix it up a little bit. Now, the next uh, one I'm gonna, now it's, this is, uh, this is basically, we're just gonna have that spin around up top, do some cool stuff. We actually wanna bring that up a little bit. 
and maybe bring it over. And then the third one, we're gonna have that hit the ground, but we're gonna shrink that a little bit. And we want it to be kind of just where the dancing is, spin her around a little. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and just make a new one because it, it doesn't seem like I can get it to do what I want. So I'm gonna draw a shape here. Maybe just something spin around a little bit. Save that. Loop it, reverse it. I'm gonna keep that speed because during dancing it might be cool to have it a little bit. And the fourth, this one's actually gonna like, I won't do this the whole time, but during certain moments it's fun to just do a strobe like during the high point of a song or something. So right there, I've got five movements pre-programmed. Happy with all of them. I'm gonna go ahead and turn them all off right now. And uh, when we're ready to get them going, I'll just hit that button and it'll do what I want, so. We got the color wheel, the gobo wheel, um, the gobo being the image uh, that is shown through. Um, the prism, if you put it on a prism, it kind of, it, it trifectas the image and it makes it um, larger and I think in some cases cooler. Uh, prism is a very cool effect. I've almost always used the prism um, when I use my main lighting system. Dimmer, depending on the brightness of the room, you may want to increase or decrease, or, sorry, increase or decrease uh, the dimmer. Um, sometimes it can just be a bit too bright if the room's too dark, uh, and sometimes it can be, you can't see it if the room's too light, and so you might want to bring it up uh, or, or earlier parts of the day. Uh, shutter is the um, ability to basically create a strobe effect and by going down and up, I can all the way up is a full open iris. And if I go down, I'm, I'm creating a um, increasingly speeding up strobe effect, which can be cool um, during EDM songs and other uh, you know high intensity songs and for those cool bass hits. Um, and then there's some other uh, effects that can be um, used as well, but typically those are the ones that I use so once that's done, um, what's really cool is I can easily jump to the next one, make any adjustments I want. You can see I have a dinner, a slow dance, fast dance already pre-programmed. That's kind of typically how I do it. I'll have a one that's good for kind of cocktail, kind of mesmerizing, kind of cool and dinner. One that might be cool for slow dance. You just something that's very neutral, white goes on the ceiling. Just um, uh, there'll be some examples of that in this video. And then a fast dance where it's crisscrossing all over the place. Maybe it's dipped down, dipping into people's eyeline a little bit here and there, but it's dancing. And so, you know, it's kind of more expected and it's party time, you know. Um, it's more about like engaging and creating a cool interaction with the dance floor. Um, and still looks cool, but the, <laughs> the main point is the dance floor at that point. Uh, I have a strobe effect I can just jump into if I want that has a stutter already kind of established. So I can just boom, once one, one program's moving and on the beat, I can hit four, have the stutter occur and on the beat, jump right back into three. Um, you know, as you can see, black I have is if I want to black out for something. Like if a song ever mentions like, and the lights go out, I might hit the blackout button just because it kind of, you know, everyone looks at you like, oh, I see what you did there. Um, but uh, yeah, so that obviously you can you can have an infinite number of scenes. Um, but I usually have four or five that I use on a typical event. Um, and I takes me after I maybe takes me 10 minutes to set up my uh, moving heads, you know, the hardware, it might take me another five minutes to program four or five, um, scenes, um, custom for that event. And so, although, you know, it maybe takes 20 minutes altogether, well, this is an a upgraded package when people get this. So, um, you know, it's it, no one as a DJ, you shouldn't feel bad, you know, if <laughs> about the time spent, um, that it, you know, it's worth it because, uh, it allows you to sell cooler lighting packages and, uh, gives cu customers more, you know, impressive service and it's all good.